Napoleon Bonaparte, one of the greatest military commanders to have ever lived, and one of the few men to have pissed off Europe enough for it to unite against him five separate times. While Napoleon's military accomplishments are indisputable, his success in negotiating trade deals is not. He famously sold off all of France's colonial possessions in North America to the United States for the rather modest sum of $15 million. This so-called Louisiana Purchase, which, by the way, included a lot more than present-day Louisiana, became the largest territorial expansion in U.S. history, and to boot, it was transacted at the price of about two cents per acre. It sounds like a pretty bad deal, but was it really? Well, while Napoleon was nominally selling almost a million square miles of land, in practice he controlled only New Orleans and a bunch of small, scattered settlements along the Mississippi River. Only about 60,000 colonists resided there, and they did so with minimal supervision. For Napoleon had just recovered the territory in 1801 from the Spanish, who had in turn taken it from the French in 1763. Napoleon had planned on sending an army to secure Louisiana in 1802, but then Haiti decided to revolt. So he sent the army there, but the slaves actually won, and in the end, Napoleon was left with one less Haiti and 55,000 fewer soldiers to defend Louisiana with. Meanwhile, over in the US, Many saw the French defeat in Haiti as an opportunity to fully push Napoleon out of North America. Our good friend Alexander Hamilton lobbied fiercely for the US to invade Louisiana. But President Jefferson, an equally good friend of SideQuest and arch-nemesis of Hamilton, favored a more diplomatic approach. Initially, he offered $2 million for New Orleans only. It was a practical deal. About a third of U.S. domestic production went through New Orleans, so it made sense to grab it and secure the Mississippi River once and for all. But by the time this offer had arrived, Napoleon had already given up on his dream of a French North America. So he turned around and made his famous counteroffer, $15 million for New Orleans, plus a ton of land Napoleon claimed was his, even though it really wasn't. Arguably, he would have lost these claims anyway, so why not squeeze them for as much as possible, right? Now, it's worth noting that whilst the deal was nominally for $15 million, in reality, the French crown received quite a bit less. To pay for the deal, the US issued a bunch of government bonds. These bonds were handed to the French government, which immediately turned around and sold them at a discount to two European banks. Hope & Co. in Amsterdam, and Bearings in London. It was Napoleon's money, and he needed it now. Which is why, at the end of the day, he only received about 9 million dollars, or 50 million francs. Now you might wonder, just how big of a cash injection were 50 million francs for Napoleon? Well, unfortunately, the answer is not big at all. In 1804 alone, the French Empire spent 886 million francs of which more than half went toward the military. 350 million was spent on the army, while 200 million went to the navy. Somewhat surprisingly, that year, France actually turned a slight profit. It earned 888 million francs, mostly from taxes on property, alcohol, tobacco, and gambling. Truly, the foundation of French society. The 50 million francs Napoleon got for Louisiana were just about equal to the money he received from the French national forests in 1804. So, it was really more of a happy accident than a monumental game-changer. In the end, the US got to double its territory at the cost of funding 9% of Napoleon's war machine for a year. It was no doubt a great deal for America, but it was arguably also a good deal for Napoleon who could just as easily have gotten nothing at all for his troubles. Oh well, if only Napoleon had been provident enough to create a Patreon page for the defense of Louisiana, maybe then he could have kept the dream of French North America alive. Luckily for you, we at SideQuest are quite provident, so we've already got a Patreon page up and running. In fact, it's the lifeline that keeps our machine of war humming along. And if you're interested, we're selling titles of minor nobility in the Mississippi Basin for modest donations to our cause. 
Of course, we'll be equally grateful if you just liked and shared this video with your friends, and if you subscribed, if you haven't already, of course. The side quest colonization of YouTube is always in need of fresh recruits and will eagerly embrace all who swear fealty to our crown. Or just like and share. In the meantime, I hope you'll wait with equal or greater eagerness for the next imperialistically bonapartist episode of Side Quest. <laughs>